when I got out here to work, I got finessed by my first job. They basically told me I worked for free. I was, they was like, yeah, that was orientation. And I was like, nah, I quit. I was like, there's L's in this tent, and the niggas want to get wet. When I was just a toddler is when I start to flex. When I was a huggy, I started to flex. I start to flex. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Zeus, man. Back with another one. Like, subscribe to the channel, man. We about to get into why I've been missing for so long. You clicked on the video, you already know what I'm about to talk about. We moved from New York to Atlanta. Let's get it. Welcome back to my channel, man. I'm about to get right into it. I'm gonna get into a couple things that you guys should look out for when you move, when you're making that transition from whatever city that you at to Atlanta. I know a lot of people want to move to Atlanta. It's not all fun and games, man. This shit is real. Like, if you're about to relocate you or relocate, in my case, relocate you and your family from one state to another state, I'm going to tell you a couple things that you have to be prepared for. Unfortunately, man, due to some trouble I got into a long time ago, I was tied to my city, but I'm free. But I've been wanting to make this move to Atlanta for some years now. I'm going to just say some years. I watched a lot of videos on Atlanta, like moving to Atlanta, research, uh, moving from my city to Atlanta, moving my family to Atlanta, all these different things in Atlanta. I did mad research in Atlanta. I'm telling you, out of mad videos that I've seen, I've never seen this. First of all, wherever you transition it from, in my case, I'm from, I'm from New York, but I'm from upstate New York. So it's not the New York that everybody think about. When people think of New York City, they think about the five boroughs. They think like bright lights and blah, blah, blah. Where I'm from is like the capital of New York, upstate New York. It's, it's a smaller city. It's in New York, but it's a smaller city. You have to understand the transition from a small city to a major city. So if you're coming from a small city, you have to understand that transition. A lot of people think moving from wherever they're at to Atlanta, everything is about to change for them. That might be true, but you have to understand that you're not coming to a small city where you could just become known real fast, meet some people real fast, um, and get on, get lit real fast. If that's something that you wanna do, maybe fate is with you. I'm not gonna say you can't do it, but the possibilities of it is very slim. Like you talking about millions of people and you talking about the, the top eight, nines and tens from every city moving to one city to try to, you know what I'm saying? Work on their business, work on their self. Um, better themselves and always had that burn in their heart. They wanted to leave their city. They wanted to pursue. They wanted to be a better version of themselves. And they actually made that leap in faith. So they all ended up here in Atlanta. Don't get it twisted. You got mad scammers. You got mad bums. You got mad people that's just trying to fit in. But you also got to, like I said, the nine, eight, nines, and ten from every city. They're focused on their careers. They're, trying, they're focused on trying to be a better version of themselves. They're focused on trying to elevate, network for the most part. When I came out here on vacation, I had the most fun of my life. Like Atlanta, like if you come on vacation to Atlanta, I done been in Miami, I've been different places. You come to Atlanta, you're gonna have the most fun you ever had because you're coming as a tourist. So you're gonna be doing all of the festivities. You're gonna be checking out all the restaurants. You're gonna be checking out all the clubs. You're gonna be checking, you're gonna be mingling, net, um, networking, socializing, whatever you're doing. And you're gonna feel like I have to be here, like I have to be in Atlanta. But once you move from where you're at and you transition to Atlanta, you have to understand this is a major city. So it would be just like you moving from wherever you're at to New York City, LA, Houston, Atlanta. These are major cities. Atlanta has a lot to offer as far as um, just everything. It has sports teams, it has D division one colleges, it has good high schools, it has um, if you're an actor, it has a Tyler Perry Studios. If you're an inspired artist, you know the music scene is mad big out here. If you want to have fun, the club scene is big out here. The restaurant scene is big out here. What people don't say is like, it's this is it's survival of the fittest out here. It's sink or swim. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be nobody where you're at and think you're gonna come here and be somebody. Like there's thousands of bums. Like there's. The bum population is so huge, like sometimes I'll be thinking to myself, like these people were probably just regular people that came out here trying to keep up with the Joneses, ended up going broke and becoming bums. These are not just like junkie bums. These are actual people that probably 
came out here on a mission or on a, whatever journey they was on and just ended up, you know what I'm saying, falling downhill because it is expensive. When people say Atlanta's cheap, they're talking about compared to all the other major cities like New York. New York for like a one bedroom, you're gonna pay like 20, New York City for like a one bedroom, you're gonna pay like 2,100 for a one bedroom. That should be in a box. You know what I'm saying? Miami, um, certain places, super expensive. Atlanta, you might pay 1,800 for a two bedroom and have a good quality of life. You might have like some stainless steel appliances, like a washer and dryer, dishwasher. You're gonna, like the weather's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? You're in a place where you can network and stuff like that. So it is cheap compared to other major cities. But if you talk, if you think that Atlanta is cheap, think again, it's not cheap. In order for me to transition from where I was at to where I'm at now, it was, was about 15,000. And all right, I'm gonna tell you how it all started. I've been researching trying to move to Atlanta for like, probably like six months to a year, at least, you know what I mean? I was researching apartments and like real estate agents and stuff like that. I was trying to rent a house. I didn't want to just come out here into an apartment. Trying to do it from your state or your city, wherever you're at. If you're trying to do this shit on your phone, if you're trying to do it online, I'm going to tell you right now, I tried. I'm looking. I'm filling out all these applications from where I'm at. I'm paying all these application fees because Atlanta, that's another thing. Application fees, you're going to pay hundreds of dollars in application fees. And you might not get approved for nothing. Like, you're going to have to really put that work in. I felt like I was doing everything that I needed to do to find an apartment here. You feel me? Like, find a crib here. I was having no luck. I'm talking about, like, three to four three to four months consistent looking like consistent talking to people over the phone, paying for application fees, paying people to help me. For months I had no luck and I was just telling people, I'm like, listen, I'm about to just move out there and just figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to go so bad. You have this burn inside of you that people can't really understand. Like, you know what I mean? You feel like you got to get away. You feel like you have this, you have to fulfill something. You need closure about something. You know what I'm saying? So some people don't understand like when you really have it set in your heart to move and make a, a certain type of transition that you have to follow through with that depending on the type of person that you are i had this burn in my i had this burning desire inside of me that i had to like i'm like i have to make this transition you feel me like now is the time every like all the stars are in line everything is lined up i have to make this transition right so i'm not gonna recommend this but i'm gonna tell y'all what i did i'm not gonna recommend it but i'm gonna tell y'all what i did I booked the Airbnb for one month, right? I booked the Airbnb for a month and I was like, you know what? Once I once I booked this Airbnb, there's no coming back from this. Like the Airbnb was like 2100. I'm not about to spend a couple bands on some shit just for nothing, you feel me? So I'm like, I right, I booked the Airbnb. It was 2100. I booked that shit for probably like 3 3 weeks out. Once I booked that Airbnb, I told myself, I'm like, all right, this ain't no going back from this. Like, there's no taking your buddy back, no getting no deposit back, no nothing. After I booked the Airbnb, I booked the U-Haul. The U-Haul was another couple thousand. You know what I'm saying? So look, these two things, that's why I said I don't recommend it because it's like I already spent a lot of money before I came, but I felt like I had to do it. So... I booked the Airbnb for 2100 I booked the U-Haul for 2000 So that's, I'm already 4100 in the hole before. It's the first two things, you know what I'm saying? And then I just started putting all the pieces in place, preparing for me to move. And like, when I say pe putting pieces in place, I mean a lot of stuff. Like, you got to make sure that you have your social security card. You got to make sure that you have your ID. You got to make sure that none of your, like, you don't have no, like, suspensions and none of that shit on your because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need your ID, you're gonna need your driver's license. You don't wanna have no type of suspensions. You wanna make sure all your bills are paid up to date. Like if you have a car note, pay that shit. You got an insurance, pay that shit. If you have a light bill or anything in collections, think twice. When I made that transition from there to here, like luckily I did put the pieces in place. Like I made sure I had my bills and stuff paid up. I made sure I had a little bit of money and stuff to maneuver. Told my car out there with the U-Haul. I basically packed my car with the stuff that I'm gonna need inside the Airbnb, me and my kid. I feel like everything started like lining up, like, like,
perfect, but once I started putting one foot forward, everything kind of just started falling into place. All right, this is kind of a lot. So when I when I got to Atlanta, I unpacked the U-Haul and I unpacked my car into the storage unit. And then I brought, I basically brought the U-Haul back, dropped the U-Haul off, took, took my car off the tow, basically dropped all of that stuff off, hopped in my car with my kids, and then went back to the storage unit, got the stuff that I was gonna be using in the Airbnb, like basically like our basic clothes and whatever we packed for the Airbnb. And then went straight from straight from there to the Airbnb, checked into the Airbnb. Went grocery shopping, you know what I'm saying? Like I got here on the first of November. By the second of November, I was already working full time. That was that's another thing. I was like looking for jobs and shit. Like once I um booked that Airbnb, I started like looking for jobs and like lining up interviews and stuff like that before I got here. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm not used to working for nobody but something told me like i was gonna like me being by myself i was gonna need proof of income i was gonna need some type something first day of me being in atlanta I, I realized what the fuck this shit was like i already knew what atlanta was like when i was coming out here on vacation the ubers will finesse you there's so much finessing going on out here you would you would be like what the fuck you're putting for an uber ride over here and they'll those like that's just like 30 40 minutes away you'll see them on the map they'll start coming to you and then they'll just stop halfway and just start doing circles or some shit all the way until you cancel and they get half of the shit anyways and then you have to call another uber so it's a lot of finessing going out here so when i got out here to work i got finessed by my first job they basically told me i worked for free i was they was like yeah that was orientation and I was like, nah, I quit. It was like the beginning of my journey. I ended up, you know, getting a, getting another job. And once I fell in the flow of that job, I got another job. So now I got two jobs. All of this is within a 30 day span because I only booked the Airbnb for one month. Half, basically halfway through the Airbnb, the dude sent me a text. He's like, you're a good um, guest. I just want to let you know on the 30th, if I have other guests checking in. So I just wanted to make sure, you know, you're going to be checking out on the time that you're going to be checking. Out. I'm like, yeah. Uh, uh. So like literally at this point, there's no turning back. Like I have to secure something. You know what I'm saying? I ended up not being able to apply for a crib until like literally like the last week of November because like Thanksgiving and like the weekend, the way everything was falling in line and the fact that I needed a couple weeks worth of pay stubs in order to apply for an apartment. I ended up not being able to apply to, until towards the end of the month. I'm not gonna lie, I applied for one crib, but that one crib, it took me like at least a week to get approved for it. It took me at least a week to get approved. They put me through the most intensive background check I ever been through in my life. When I fought my case, I didn't even go through a background check this severe ran credit checks, every name I put down, they made sure it was verified. Every email I put down, they made sure it was verified. Every proof of income, I had to prove it. You need bank statements, you need this, you need that. It's very serious, so make sure you got your shit together if you're coming here. I don't wanna discourage nobody from coming here because truthfully, it's one of the best moves that I made. I moved to Cobb County, my kids love the schools here, and the weather's good and the people are nice and it's it's good as social and just the environment change like it's a good quality of life where i'm at and also that um closure that i needed that shit is gone like instantly i felt like a sense of relief i felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders because i made that move that i always wanted to do you know what i'm saying so i'm not trying to discourage nobody <clears throat> the traffic is bad but Listen, man, I'm from New York. We're not really worried about traffic and shit like that. Like, it's not too bad. You'll get used to it very fast. Like, people stress the traffic. People stress, like, potholes and just dumb shit that you not really, you don't really care to hear. This shit is serious, man. This is the big leagues. You're, you're transitioning from a small city to a major city. Everything that glitters ain't gold. It's not going to be easy. Like I said, you got the eight, nines, and tens from every city. The competition is very steep, but... It, it's gonna bring the best out of you. You know what I'm saying? This is one of those states you don't. You're not coming here to socialize, get a girlfriend, and get a boyfriend and shit like that. What you're coming to Atlanta to do is work on yourself. There's people here working on themselves, and they're trying to be the best version of themselves. The desperation for money and for a bag is serious. 
you have to have a bag in order to maneuver or you're just gonna be regular just like you are in your city <laughs> like you know what i'm saying you're not gonna just like just be come out here as a rapper and think you're gonna make it no it's a lot of footwork and a lot of groundwork that needs to be done you know what i'm saying there's a lot of outlets and a lot of networking that you could do but you have to understand that you have to understand the competition these are the eight nines and tens from all around the world you know what i'm saying and then not only that the actual celebrities live here celebrities that's from here they stay here and then other celebrities move here so like the competition is steep you have to come out here ready to work ready to be prepared to work on yourself and be prepared to leave whatever cycle that you was um caught up in behind and start fresh all in all i ended up like transition out the airbnb getting approved for the crib like the way that i got into my crib is like a whole nother story because it's like the deadline was so crazy like i had to check out on the 30th i wasn't even approved for the crib yet i moved a lot of my stuff from the airbnb to back to the storage place and then me and my family went to a hotel the application was like an approval process so um and i'm working two jobs so i'm trying to maneuver all of this shit at the same time i'm not trying to get fired from these two jobs that i need proof of income from i need paperwork and all types of verification from also i'm trying to check out of this airbnb and transition my family into like a comfortable room if i had all of the money everything together it was just that i wasn't trying to start spending a lot of money on hotel expenses or like book an Airbnb for a whole nother month when I could just transition, use that money to transition into an apartment. But I know we was in a hotel for at least a day. We spent the night in there and then the next day it was just like a lot of scrambling getting done. Like I was like, yo, is the apartment ready? Blah, 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 blah. The apartment wasn't even ready. I was like, I don't even care. We'll move in, blah, blah, blah. So they ended up rushing the process and getting me in before I had to go to work. Like I'll let you guys know in more detail that, but I did, I did transition to a nice apartment um, in a nice area, but probably even a better area than I expected to be in. I just thank God throughout that whole transition, I probably got more like spiritually in line than I ever been. Like I was just praying, 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 praying. It's sad, like you only pray when you really need something or like when things are going bad, but you also got to like when things start going good, you got to keep praying. Like, I feel like I'm a master manifester a lot of everything that i have to this day i wrote it down first you know what i'm saying and i feel like everything that i'm gonna have going forward i have to be able to write it down and know like have a list of to do things to lead up to that point have a bunch of micro goals to end up reaching my macro goal or my macro purpose whatever you want to call it stay prayed up man make sure like you're not scared to take that leap in faith put one foot forward and like you'll start seeing the pieces will start falling into place. Don't come out here thinking this shit is a game. Don't go anywhere thinking this shit is a game. It's not a game. You're gonna start from scratch. You don't know nobody. I have a platform where I'm from. Being here, I have just no platform. You start from scratch, you know what I'm saying? So you have to get a job. You have to meet people. You have to socialize. I don't know what you wanna do. If you wanna go out, you probably gonna have a short run because it's very expensive, you know what I'm saying? It's a tourist attraction. So this is a place that people come to on vacation to spend. and there's a lot of places to spend money out here. So just make sure when you come here, if you wanna move, just understand that like all of that shit is gonna be here. It's not going anywhere. Focus on yourself, get yourself together and you will do fine. Do not get lost in the sauce. Do not be going out. It's very easy. People are going to be like, yo, come out. Come do this. Come do that. Don't get lost in the sauce. Stay focused. Stay on your grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe to my channel. I'm about to have some more content coming. It's your boy Zeus, man. I'm out. And this toast, this toast is one to get wet. When I was just a toddler is when I start to flex.